Today I'm going to be watching some German TikToks. England, I have a question. How do you call the weight that you gain because you're sad and then you eat too much? There's no word like that in English. Like There's no word for Kummerspeck? Kummerspeck. But it's an important yeah, I learned word. That one important? Actually. Okay, Germany. How do you call she again? Z. What about they? Z. What about you in the former form? Also Z. So <laughs> you came up with Kummerspeck. But you use the same word for you, they, and she, right? M maybe. <laughs> That's interesting because it's obviously I've only heard so far about the words in Germany being very efficient in combining words to make one word but that's also a very efficient use of the language using the same word for having different meanings it's the same here in Malaysia I can speak Malaysian relatively fluently and for he and she him and her is all the one word dia so kind of similar to German actually this one here, things that shocked me when I moved to Germany from Scotland, this should be a it good It shocked me when I moved to Germany as a Scots lass. Alcohol in Berlin is super cheap and you can buy it pretty much whenever you want. One in euro? Scotland, it's illegal to buy alcohol in stores after 10pm. Yeah, that's true actually. And it's expensive. Yeah, like we have this alcohol tax that's been increasing over the years because there's been a lot of binge drinking in younger people in Scotland. They've tried to like increase the price. You really can't trust young Scottish people to uh, appreciate alcohol, but yeah, obviously different in you, in Germany. And it's expensive. Naked mm. saunas. Seriously. German spa culture is great, but let's be real, Scots are prudes and the whole naked sauna thing took some serious getting used to. You. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a prude, but I don't think I could go to a naked sauna. Tell me if you've ever been to a naked sauna before. How is that experience? I don't mind a sauna. I don't mind going for a spa and things like that, but I prefer to like be relatively clothed. Do you have to pay for contraception though? In Scotland, everything is free, so you don't have to worry about whether you can afford the birth control that's best suited to you. America. Yeah, that's true that in Scotland, I feel quite privileged, even though I don't live there at the moment. But when it comes to healthcare, everything's free, even like as you say, birth control, getting all your medicine and things like that is all free. But is that true that you have to pay for that in uh, Germany also? Okay, let's see this. Americans first time in Germany. Americans first time in Germany. <laughs> is that like the Greek plate smashing thing? But a German version? Why is everybody so excited? Excuse me, do you know what's going on here? That is because they make marriage. That's because they're getting married? Oh, Why are they just getting all that anger out? Makes sense. Real question is, who wants to be my wife so we can break some shit? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Tell me if that, I, I never heard of that tradition before. That's why I, I like this channel, not just to watch videos and things, but it's to learn all these different things. And traditions is definitely something I'm interested in finding out more about with regards to Germany. Is that common in all of Germany? Is that a certain region or something like that? Getting married to a German and here is something I didn't know before as a Vietnamese. To marry me, he only needs an ID. I need 500 documents that take a year to prepare and I have to go back to Vietnam to do that. Whoa. He needs to call my parents, mom and dad because we're Vietnamese, but nothing changed for me. I still address his parents by their first name. The mm. cause of That one as well, just before shoot, I go on, is interesting. Is that common? like? If you get married to someone, does do your partner still call them their first name? Because here in Asia, which is maybe similar because she's from Vietnam, uh, I have to call my wife's uh, parents like mum and dad. And that was weird for me to begin with. I'm so used to thinking I've only got one mum and dad, but to call someone else mum and dad felt, felt a bit quite, uh, weird, but now it's normal. Maybe that's the same in Germany as in, in the UK. Just a simple wedding over here is insanely high. It doesn't even make sense. Plus, you need to invite the guests a year in advance. A year in Vietnam, I can call them the night before the wedding and they show up. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, sir, you cannot do that. That's stealing. Excuse me, uh, what is the problem? Sir, you cannot do that. You cannot put this in your bag. We just got hope nobody sees it now. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that is the way that uh, bottles are presented in Germany actually, just from one of the other videos. You have to buy all six. But I only want one. Well, I'm not from Germany, but that seems wrong. <laughs> An American being Some people pushy in, 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 in other people's business. I don't even need these sugary drinks. I just gotta cut this watermelon. Excuse me. 
Is that the Would bread like card? Play a German drinking game. <laughs> Sounds good. What are we playing? It is a card game. You must draw a card, and each card type has a rule. Oh, king! It is called Chancellors. Zwei, bitte verzeih. It is a two, and I must ask for forgiveness. I would like to apologize for my country's horrific behavior during the war. Oh, oh, th th thanks. I, I thank you for saying that. And <laughs> oh, now you! All right. <gasps> that is the most hardest card in the game. At a Rob Schneider joke, I must now tell a joke. Oh, just tell a joke. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Do you know how hard it is to tell a joke? Uh, a horse walks into a bar. The bartender asks, why the long face? That is the greatest joke I have heard in my life. You must be the funniest man alive. Because a horse would not be allowed into a bar. And a bartender, he would not talk to an horse. I mean, yeah, it's that. And the fact that he asks a horse, why the long face? <laughs> Thank you for dining with us. Is that like something to do with a play on like the German sense of humor or something like that? Quite, quite funny, man. Here's your bill. Thank you. Here's my card. Oh, sorry, we take cash only. But this is a big restaurant. So? In the middle of the city. Are you new to Germany? I just came last week. There's an ATM nearby. 15 minutes walk from here. 15 <laughs> minutes walk? I'm just gonna put my phone here so that you know I'm not gonna run away. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go on this wine wandering in the rain? Zach, es gibt kein schlechtes Wetter, es gibt nur die falschen Klamotten, okay? Okay. Hier, yeah, Zach, let's have some wine. Okay, in public? It's legal. Get out your glass, okay? Okay, okay, gosh. What is that? It's a red solo cup. Let's have a party. This is an insult to German wine culture. <laughs> okay, I'm not done yet. Wait, I pour the water. So Why are you pouring water in my wine? That's is that common? Gross. Is that the sparkling war maybe? Culture oh, shock after yeah, moving yeah. to Germany from the US. Did that little girl just get off the train by herself? Yeah, little kids walk by themselves to school all the time in Germany. But it looks like she's six. They're gonna have to learn somehow. And why is she taking a train to school? Because there aren't school buses like they are in the US. You either take public transport or you go by bike. <laughs> that sounds so dangerous. You don't know how old she is. I'm sure she's fine. Culture shock after moving to Germany from the United States. I wish Germany allowed wild camping, but at least there's car parks so we can park our caravan overnight. I think there's one over there. Actually, the camper that's parked there is for prostitution. How do you know that? That red light in the window means they are open for business. Okay then, moving on to the next spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that common as well? I think I remember watching, it may have been in the TV show Dark, and I think that obviously that's set in Germany. I'm pretty sure one of the characters was like a prostitute that was in a caravan actually. That's maybe the only time I've heard of that before actually. Hello. So, trying to speak German. Wie geht's dir? Where are you from? I'm from, let me guess, you're from England. How did you know that? <laughs> you don't have to make a fool of yourself trying to speak German. After all, most Germans have an extremely high level of English. As for myself, I took an exchange year at Oxford University studying English literature and Wand law. So don't feel any pressure to speak German here. Cool. That's a relief. Oh, excuse me, sir. You drop this. Warum sprichst du kein Deutsch? Wer in Deutschland leben will, muss Deutsch sprechen. This is <laughs> so interesting because that's the same as here in Malaysia. Like I said, I can speak Malay, but in Malaysia, pretty much everybody, especially in Kuala Lumpur, can speak English as well. So when you try to actually go into a shop, they always want to speak in English to me because I'm white, obviously. And trying to actually speak to the younger generation in Malay is very difficult. They just want to speak English. Like, but it is the same with the older generation who can only only really speak Malay as well. Quite similar actually. Dude, it's like moving to Germany for the first time. What a beautiful Sunday. Oh, there's nothing to do on Sunday. I gotta go back here. Moin. It's a sun pack. No vacuuming. What do you mean? Since I can't vacuum, I just bring these bottles back. Oh. Was meinst du unhöflich? 
Maybe we're closed on a Sunday You were hit by a PT cruiser, Sunday. but we managed to save you. Uh, we have replaced your bones with tungsten metal and recalibrated your muscles to make you faster and stronger. Yeah. So this gives you 22, 22 vision as well as night and heat vision. Incredible. They also shoot lasers. They what? Don't worry about it. Okay. Unfortunately, we must now come to the gauche subject of payment. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You paid for any of it. I'm ashamed of my country that I must ask of you such a high price for medical treatment. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I must ask of you to pay. 25 euros. 25? Please do not lash out in rage. Did you say 25? <laughs> I know, I know. It should be free. Here's 30. These prices? Keep the change. That I cannot do. A doctor will not take more than he is owed. Should we end it there? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> yeah, I guess that shows like this stark difference in healthcare in Germany and the USA, how much things like I mean, obviously, they're not going to get turned into a robot in the USA, but, like, for any any sort of treatment and things, it's just so c crazy priced in the USA, whereas Germany and a lot of European countries, it's just so fair, man. Like, it must be so different for Americans being in Germany. What is that? It's just the siren test for the firefighters. It goes off every Saturday at So it's like an village. air raid oh. siren. Okay. Not gonna lie, for a second there I thought, bomb. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't use that sound if there's a bomb nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, there's actually a lot of undetonated bombs from World War II in Germany, so sometimes you have to evacuate so they can defuse them. Hmm. Another culture shock I had after moving to Germany. Is it okay that we're walking through this forest? Well, of course. Everyone can roam through the forest in Germany, even if it's on private property. Even on private property? If you did that in the US, you better be careful. You might get shot at. Yeah, a lot of them man, were like really interesting because they're comparing Germany and the USA for a lot of them. Even Scotland there as well, which was quite interesting, but you can see like People who go to Germany from the USA just have so, feel like they have so much more freedom, just have such a better quality of life. Uh, tell me what you think about them. Thanks.